Hi YouTube artists, I'm Kelly Hernig and welcome to In The Studio. Today I want to invite you to the Artful Advent. Look how fun. We're going to paint together December 1st through December 24th every single day for about five minutes. That's it. So if you'd like to join me, the PDF is down below. Click it, it's free. I'm going to show you how to get started. Let's go. I wanted to show you the supplies that I'll be using for the Artful Advent. Look around your house. You already have everything, I promise. You need some watercolors. Any colors are going to be fine. Really, I'm going to be using red, yellow, and blue. So if you have a primary set, that's going to work. You can mix any color with that. I've got a white Posca pen. This is just for highlights, like the frosting on the gingerbread or something like that. So I wanted a white highlighter instead of white paint, Posca pen. We all have them, gel pens. Anything white is going to work great. I have a paintbrush. I'm going to be using the Princeton Aqua Elite, the long round, the number eight, because look at this beautiful point it has. So for some of the more delicate areas, like the mistletoe and the leaves, I wanted something that I could do the whole thing with. So this is the brush that I'll be using. I am going to be inking my piece with a Unipin fine line. This is a 0 0.5. I'm doing the bigger version, but you could also do it in a mechanical pencil, whichever way is comfortable. I wanted to have my lines on the bigger one a little more firm so that I can see them better and I'm not rubbing them off with my arms since we're going to be working on the piece for 24 days. I also have some scotch tape and scissors. You only need these two things if you're going to do the bigger version and I will show you that. In your PDF you get four pieces of paper. You have a smaller circle here. This one measures from edge to edge seven and five eighths. The bigger one here is two sheets of paper. So it says top and bottom. So they connect and this one measures 10 and 3 eighths across. And I'm going to show you how to assemble that in a minute. And then the back page is my favorite Christmas cereal holiday recipe. I just thought since we're painting it in the Artful Advent, it would be fun to give you the recipe to share. Believe me, you're going to want to make two batches of this. One for yourself and one to give as gifts. Trust me on this. <laughs> so let me show you this big, big one here. When you go to overlap them, because I cut it kind of in half, so for printing would be easier so that it fits on an eight and a half by 11. You're going to see this polar bear here. He's an ornament. And then you're going to see this pretzel here. What I want you to do is take your scissors and just cut straight through. You want to leave a little bit of the items overlapping so you can line it up with the back sheet. So let's see the ornament here and then the ornament here. So I'm going to hold this up to the light and I'm gonna line it up the best that I can, all of the elements. So I'm just holding it up so that, let me see if you can see this here. Let's see if I can flip my light, there you go. So you can see that I'm overlapping them where they overlap and I can see the lines directly underneath one another. Once I have it in place, okay, I'm gonna leave it right here for a minute. I am going to scotch tape right at the very edge of the circle here. So there and here, just on the edges. I don't want to tape in the middle yet because I'm not done cutting. I'm going to peel them off up and then flip that tape to the back side just to secure that it's nice and tight. If you're going to transfer this from a light box or say stick it in your window, what you need to do is not have a double element underneath because it's too hard to see through with two pieces of paper. So what I'm gonna do is on my top sheet, I'm gonna cut these elements off that are underneath. So I'm gonna just come here 
It looks more complicated than it really is. You'll see the elements when you go and you do this yourself. You'll understand a little better. Okay, so you can see there's all elements now from the top. See how those are kind of sculpted out? And then they overlap a little with the bottom, so I need to cut those little elements. So see the ornament top here and the little snowflake? I need to cut those away. So I'm gonna flip this up. So what you have is a single layer now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape but I'm not going to tape in the area of like I'm not going to tape on the snowflake I'm going to look for a couple white areas to tape it on because you don't want to have to transfer through tape so I have a nice big area here I'm going to tape and I have a nice area here that I'm going to tape so now it's really secure what I did was I took a square piece of paper. This is about 15 and a half by 15 and a half. I taped this to the window, taped it in four corners, just with scotch tape on my window, and then I placed this where I wanted it, and then I taped this on the window. I then took my Unipen and I started tracing every single element. Now you could do the same with pencil. It just depends what you want it to look like. This is what the Unipen looks like. You can see that it's nice lines. They're not too dark because I use the light gray. I even traced the Be Merry down there. Because they're light gray, the pen is gonna kind of disappear because the color is much stronger. But it gives me a nice solid outline that I'm not erasing by having my arm drag across it because remember we're working on this for 24 days. I just wanted to share with you how I got started and how I got everything traced. We all have windows and we all have tape so it's the easiest way to do something this big. If you have a light box that works great too but this big wheel took me about 15 minutes to do. That's it. It went pretty quickly. I wasn't concerned with how great the inking was. If you make a mistake or if you find that you know you messed up, no one's gonna know but you. Just leave it. Otherwise you can take your little Posca pen and white it out if you want and just paint over it. But remember, no one's really gonna see the lines when we're finished because the paint's going to be applied on top of that. So take your time, enjoy the process. Make sure you go in the description box and click the link to get the PDF. And I so look forward to painting with you on December 1st. Thanks for watching.